Hey guys, today I want to go over and hopefully solve an intrusive issue that many MacBook users unfortunately have to deal with. You know what I'm talking about, it's the issue with the mail app randomly opening up in split view. I found a few options that could potentially fix this issue but you'll have to try out each one to see which one works for you. So after about a few days of research and multiple failed attempts at fixing this issue, there's one way that actually worked for me. I suggest you try this one out first and if you're still having issues, then continue with the steps that I'll be mentioning later. So what I did was I actually directly chatted with uh, one of the advisors at Apple Support and they told me that there have been reports from people regarding this issue. So the first suggestion was to restart the PRAM or NVRAM. Now PRAM stands for Parameter RAM and NVRAM stands for Non-Volatile RAM. The NVRAM pretty much stores certain system settings and makes sure that the data on it remains accessible even if power is lost or when you restart your laptop. Now PRAM also does pretty much the same thing as NVRAM and it stores different settings. I'll link Apple's website if you want to find out more information about what NVRAM and PRAM are and how to reset it down in the description. Also, before we start, first check if you have the T2 security chip on your Mac. You can do so by going into system information by either using the launch pad at the dock, click on this and you'll see system information over here, or you can go at the top, press option, press and hold it, and then click on the Apple menu, and then you'll see system information at the top here. Click on that, and then on the left side, you can go click controller, and here you can see that the model name says Apple T2 security chip. So if you have the chip, then do the following to reset the NVRAM or PRAM. First, shut down your MacBook, then immediately press on the power button to turn it back on and hold on to the following keys. You have to press Option, Command, both of these together, P and R, all at the same time. You have to hold them on, hold on to them for um, like about 20 seconds, or you can hold on to them until the Apple logo appears and disappears for the second time. So I'll be going over this and doing this with you. Go over to Apple menu and then click down, shut down. You just click shut down. And once it turns off, anytime. Okay, now immediately press the power button and then press PR command and option together. Hold it for about 20 seconds. So that's the first time it appeared, the Apple logo. Keep holding it. And I would say that's about 20 seconds. And second logo appeared, you can release. You can wait. And there you go, now you just enter your password. And it's going to load. So if you don't have the T2 security chip, then you can do the exact same steps that I just mentioned, except release the keys, uh, that is command option P and R after the second startup sound. So you're gonna hear a startup sound instead of the Apple logo appearing. And um, yeah, so try this method out and see if the mail issue still persists. Uh, I would say give it a day or two uh, to see if there really isn't an issue anymore. And it didn't work for me actually. I tried this method and had no issues for an entire day, but the next day I faced the same problem with the mail app. So if this isn't working for you, please continue watching because there are a few more tricks that could work. So another suggestion from one of the advisors was to force quit the mail app after every use. Uh, this basically doesn't allow the mail app from opening unless prompted because it's already quit. And this method actually works, so I recommend you give this one a shot. And you basically, to do this, you basically click on or hold on to command, option, and then escape. And you'll see a bunch of applications that can could be force quit. And you just have to click force quit and once again force quit and it's gone so you one is 
if you're wondering why you're not seeing your mail app over here, um, in case if that's happening to you, then that's because you might not have the mail app open. So you have to have it previously open in order to force quit it. You could also just go ahead and open the mail app on a different screen and then just do whatever you want to do on the other screen. So you have two desktops here. And this method actually works because since the mail app is running on the background, there's no reason for it to pop up while you're using your Mac because it's already open. Now I know this might not be wise if you have a lot of tabs and if you're running uh, other applications at once, but this has worked for me without any additional issues. So if you're not a fan of the previous method, fair enough, you, you can try another one. Open up the mail app and then click on mail at the top and then preferences. And here you can deselect uh, prefer opening messages and split you then in full screen. And what this does is basically as it states, it's not going to open any messages from the mail app in split view when in full screen. At least that's what we hope for. So you can go give this one a shot. Next, you can try changing to manual update. Now, I haven't tried this method myself, but I have heard some people say that it has worked. So it's worth a try. You can once again go into a mail preferences and then go into general. And then you see right here, check for new messages. You want to make sure it's in manual. And now you have to manually update this. And in order to do that, all you have to do is go into the mailbox. And then whenever you want to check, check your mail, all you have to do is click on the get new mail, or you can just press the, um, the shortcut that it says over here, which is shift command and N, and it's going to refresh your mailbox. So if you've tried every single method I've mentioned so far, and you're still continuing to see the mail app randomly go into split view, then all I can say is go start a chat with one of the advisors or go to your local Apple store and get their opinion. They're usually very knowledgeable and helpful and might be able to fix your issue. Other than that, I'm sorry you have to deal with this issue like many other Mac users have to. And I guess we just have to cross our fingers that Apple fixes this in their next software update. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Like and subscribe to this one if you found this helpful. And I'll see you soon.